All right, let's just get straight into the automation now, guys. Some demos and how it all works. So I'm just going to do everything in Browsio IA. And just understand that whatever it is that I'm doing here can all be done in Firefox in each tab individually um, over here within this within this macro here for each project. But I'm not going to bother with that. I do use it for my um, my tier one profiles that I, I want to really watch over and save a lot of time and let it do most of the boring stuff, but sometimes I want to just pause it and get in there and manually change something, or I see a good comment where it's just going to be randomly liking stuff, so um, I, I might see a great thread and say, hang on a minute, let me just really get in there, and instead of just liking that, let me pause, and let me engage and have a conversation, start a conversation in this thread, in this comment, um, and then let it continue on, and, and, and liking and randomly joining things, you know, just on a very 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 focused level where I can where I, where is where I mostly um, really only really use it for that here. Um, but when I want to, but, but for the um, um, mass automation, this is where we want to be. And um, you can be as focused here as you are over there once you get into it. Um, so let's just get get very very basic. I'm going to use this macro just to start things off. Okay, and this is just a macro that I've added. I don't think you guys have it, but it's just a very basic go to URL. Um, so it's just going to take whatever URL you put in here and go to it. Right. So instead of constantly logging in and logging out, sometimes you might want to just double check and make sure that you are already logged in before you use, um, um, let's say, this profile. So I'm going to tick all of them. I'm going to click one, apply. Okay, and then I'm going to go mail. I'm just going to go to Gmail and see if I'm already logged in because I want to go use Google Plus, you know, and, I, and before I get into using Google Plus, I haven't used this profile for some time. I want to see which accounts are logged in, which accounts aren't logged in. And, you know, I just use this go to URL um, very, very often. And um, if, I don't know if I've shared it yet with you guys or if you do have it. Um, I'll put it below um, so you can see, I'll put it, I'll make it accessible to you guys. So you can grab this um, go to URL script, which is great. <clears throat> use it all the time. We'll use it to see if we're logged into Facebook next. So instead of directly going and actually logging in, it just, it just, it'll go to the URL. And if you're logged in, you're logged in, which is awesome. So that's what you want to be doing. Um, if you want to get a, so what I've actually done here to get it to go directly is I got rid of the homepage. So, you know, in here, you have set default home. So if you want to not go directly to a page like Twitter, for example, sometimes doesn't like when you go directly to them. Um, Facebook, when signing up, um, is a little bit funny. So you might want to go and, and make sure to have your home page set. Um, but again, just to bear in mind that when running your macros in IA, it's always we're going to this is going to be the next change that we're going to make. But as of now, what it does is it goes to the default home page that you have set. So before running them, I like to get rid of them because it sometimes takes a little bit of time, extra time to load. It's not needed. Um, so I got rid of it. But if you wanted to go to another another URL first before it goes to Gmail or if you want it to go and let's say, for example, you want to kill two birds with one stone. <clears throat> so you can put that there and then we can put Facebook here. So what it'll do now is it'll go to the home page first, to Google, and then it'll go to Facebook. So we can kill two birds with one stone with one URL, go to URL. Um, or you can just have literally one after another, you know, you don't have to get all technical, but you could have Facebook, Tumblr, um, and, you know, Google+, YouTube, whatever, other, one after another, and it'll go after them just to check, just to see if it's locked in. Okay, so let's let's just do that again. We'll run that. And this is going to go now to Google Plus uh, first, only because that's the uh, home page that I made it. That's the um, um, that's the allocated um, um, home page. So it'll go to that first, and then once it's gone to that, and that's loaded. See, this is why I like to get rid of it because it'll always go to that. Sometimes you want it to go to certain pages. Maybe you want it to go to Google.com first, and then go go to go to Facebook, whatever, um, you know, and then it's going to go to do that next URL, which is Facebook. 
And then it can go to check Twitter. And then it can go, you can have all of your URLs, all of your social profiles set up. Um, just the URLs, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and just go to URL, let it run, run one after another. And you can see which ones are logged in, which ones are not. And then you can just go and if you're part of the Macros Club and you have the logins there, you can go and use the logins or you can create the logins yourself. They're not that hard um, as long as, you know, you know what you're doing and you're a bit technical. Um, I personally don't ever bother and ever make the macros um, always get people to do that stuff for me. I can't focus and be really technical and awesome at technical and then be great at, you know, social media and marketing and all other things that aren't really very technical. Um, so as you can see, it's done exactly that. The macros have stopped. So it's gone from, and it's we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so um, basically we've done, uh, I forgot to close the last batch. But anyway, as you can see, it's gone through all of them. Great, we're logged in. So now that we know we're logged in, um, let's see how long I've, I've made this video, video so far. Six minutes. Okay, we'll end the video here. Now that we've logged in, we know we, how to use the go-to URL, the basic. We're going to go and start messing with um, the individual macros um, and just show you a couple of them, how they work, because they all work. Um, in the same way. And I'm just going to show you the basics on how, for example, we'll pick Google Plus and Facebook <clears throat> and we'll run a couple of scripts using Google Plus and Facebook. Um, and we'll pick the two different variations where you're using both URLs and keywords just to show the differences. And um, and yeah, OK, so great. So in the next video, we'll get stuck into Google Plus and Facebook and show you how they actually work and 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 it should all come together for you now. All right. See you in the next video.